Indie Games, Barry. Oh, we like video games. We do. End of episode. Thanks, yep, for, thanks, thanks us. for joining us. Yep, that was fun. It's uh, your turn today. It is. It is my top five. To contrast with your personal favourite Amiga games, yep. I've done five of my favourite ZX Spectrum games. No. Not necessarily my absolute favourite. Okay, I was going to ask you. Yeah. But pretty much ones that are memorable to okay. me for some reason or other. I'm not saying they're the best games on the Spectrum. All right. This we don't need those comments. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I've never had a ZX Spectrum. Can you explain what it is? Was it like a, a bit like the Amiga with a floppy disk, or was it a slightly Ooh, no. different loading mechanism? It, it predates such things. The games came on a audio cassette ah, and took nine hundred years. Yep, you had to <laughs> chisel the games out of a tablet. <laughs> this one is called Back to School. It's a sequel to School Days, which, and like a sort of expanded version of it. The idea is you are a schoolboy called Eric who okay. has to. Uh, do you know, I can't remember the ultimate point of the game because we never <laughs> played it properly. We just ran around causing mayhem. It's a kind of an early open world game where you have the run of a school, but you still have to keep within lesson plans unless you can sneak around behind the teacher's backs. Okay. And you can go over to the girls' school opposite and see your girlfriend. And if you kiss her, yeah, she'll take lines off you and wow. do them for you. But yeah. if you kiss her too often, she just decks you. <laughs> Seriously. Story of my life, basically. <laughs> so it is quite interactive then. You can actually like, oh, yeah. type away and stuff. But first of all, you have to go and sneak in all the desks to find where your water pistol has been hidden. Okay. Then you have to soak all the teachers and they get confused and tell you the code to open the lock on your bike. The teacher looks like the Grim Reaper. He? He's terrifying. And you get bloody Sit lines down. all the time. And the problem with the lines are, if you get too many lines, you get expelled. Okay. Well, at least it, you know these are quite old school games, isn't it? Back in the day when the cane was probably approved, <laughs> it could have been worse. Give it like not that up. old, but <laughs> my absolute favourite thing about this entire game, yeah. is it's possible to open an upper window in the school, jump out, and Eric breaks both his legs and just lies dead <laughs> on the floor. At which point, the headmaster zooms over from wherever he is and goes, "Eric, you are not a bird. You're expelled." <laughs> I recognise this one. You know this one. Go on. Uh, this is Dizzy. Yeah. Fantasy World. You Dizzy. are correct. And there's a little thing actually, to my top five Amiga games. Basically, Dizzy was very close. I had a multi-pack of games. It had this in it. It had Fast Foodie Dizzy. Oh, yeah. Magic Land Dizzy, Disneyland Dizzy, all kind of Dizzy on there. D Getting Dizzy with Dizzy the Dizziness. Dizzy Rapids. Dizzy, Dizzy gets poisons. Dizzy needs a kidney. All your favourites. <laughs> <laughs> Dizzy? I don't know. <laughs> yeah. But you had all a family, right? Yeah, like, yeah, Daisy were. and Dizzy and Donkey and all this other stuff, and you'd have to, <laughs> I don't know, you'd like run around and jump and do all this other crazy stuff? That is correct. Uh, the plot of this game, in fact, is uh, all your, I think you have to, well, do you know, I can't remember, Stop and Evil, was no, Rescue Daisy, this one. Right, okay. Rescue Daisy. She's in a tower or something, is it? That was it. And you've got to pick up items and avoid bad things and talk to your weird family like Dylan, who's like hippie-ish and... Yeah. And you is give it the Denzel, rap the cool one? There was, yeah. Did yeah. he have shades or something? He like does. That? Yeah. yeah. It's amazing how one sort of simple thing like shades can suddenly make an egg is look it, cool. Uh, there he is. I like this. It's an excellent game. Did you get really good fun? By the crocodile there. Ah uh, no, I yeah. tied the crocodile's mouth shut to enable me to access the dragon. Whoa, look at of this. course. <laughs> <laughs> I never got this far. This is right at the start of the game. With all the Disney games, I was at that age where I just kept doing the same bits over and over again. It was like Shadow of the Beast on the Amiga thing. I just fell down oh. this thing and just kept hopping for hours. Shadow of the Beast. Mm -hmm. Let us never speak of it again. So this game, yeah. What is it? <laughs> it's I, like a fat is... white man covered in tipex, just running up and down things. I think this is a little bit more early doors than you're <laughs> used to. Well, there's like green tongs. It's like yeah, little pair of pliers. Like, it's yeah, in line. Yeah. Banana, crazy banana. That's what? a Swiss Army knife, <laughs> obviously. I like how he's jumping as well, and his legs are still moving. Yeah, oh, quite... yeah. frames of animation before such things. This oh. is Jet Set Willy Two. Two. Yeah. Jet Set Willy, incidentally, sounding really rude, but it's like a reference to Manic Miner, the main character which is Miner Willy, who apparently, after the first game, <laughs> wait for it, it gets worse, and became rich, and so he's referred to as Jet Set Willy because he's joined the Jet... It just sounds really rude. There's a lot of angry characters. There they are. Everything... This is Willy's giant house, oy, oy, <laughs> and everything wants to kill him. Everything wants that to kill him. just died then. Is that what the, the screen shape? Yep, shaking? that is correct. Wow. It's a very difficult game. But yeah, this is the second one. Most people prefer the first, but I personally like the second. They fixed a lot of bugs, added a lot of new rooms, yes. uh, which kept in with the ethos of it. That didn't look like a rope then, I've got to say. I looked like a really lot enough chain. But you like... still knew it was a rope. Yes. Yeah, no, you what can get that? up to the rocket room, go oh, to a okay. spaceship. 
Okay. That's killer that's an angry cabbage. That is not. That probably is literally an angry cabbage. Well, or that's not the spaceship, type. is it? That is the rocket in the rocket room. <laughs> Flies you up to the USS Enterprise, and you can go to an alien planet. But, right. Okay. Um, if you map out the whole of the spaceship, it forms the shape of the USS Enterprise from Star Trek. Oh wow. Okay. Yeah. So they got away with that, or yeah, this was well, made yeah, with the really new. Plus, Spock in the eighties, okay nobody could sue anybody <laughs> in the eighties for games. That is the lift. <laughs> you can tell by the way it says lift yeah, on yeah. it. Just in case you didn't know, you know platform. <laughs> <laughs> Man, enemy. <laughs> Very yeah. early version. Yeah. So what's this uh, game in Stuart? Saboteur. Saboteur. Try to make it sound it. more exciting then. Uh, it's a game by Clive Townsend, released through Durell Software. Mm-hmm. Your f- personal favourite. Yeah, yeah. Big Got fan. Big fan. Huge collection of those. <laughs> <laughs> so, the idea is you're a ninja type who has been tasked with breaking into a series of buildings, nicking a floppy disk containing most important <laughs> information. Yeah. And it's a really old school one, sort of five <laughs> and a quarter inch thing. Okay. Um, nicking it, setting a bomb, and getting out in a helicopter before the whole thing explodes. Wow. So are they making any more updates to this? Should they bring it back like well, other games? Well, there was a sequel, right. um, Saboteur 2, which wasn't as good in my I see eyes. what they did there. Uh, yeah, yeah. They did for Avenging Angel, I believe it was called. Okay. They had a female Saboteur. It wasn't quite as good in my eyes. Some people like it more. Um, mm. But uh, the Clive Townsend, I believe, has recently released like an upgraded version for PC, which you can probably download from a man on the internet. With a floppy disk that you stole. That's it, (laughs) stick it into the computer. There there were stealth elements, basic ones. There were killer dogs, it was really hard to kill with anything. Yeah, I was gonna say, was that a dog on the screen just a moment ago? Or was it some sort of weird thing? Because it was going at the same pace as him. It didn't look like it was ever gonna catch up. It was like- (laughs) It doesn't if you're careful. It's like a very obedient attack dog. (laughs) I'll just do as I'm told, it's fine. (laughs) Still getting paid. (laughs) (laughs) The only way to kill a dog was with a really difficult diagonal down throw of a weapon and it was really hard and got you no Oh my God, sorry. Yeah, I just—I didn't think you were talking about the game then. I thought you were just generally talking about <laughs> killing dogs. I thought—I just heard you say the only way to kill a dog in general. I was like, my dog. My, I was going to bring Boston, my pug, along today. Oh, but we could have demonstrated. Yeah, exactly. I was like, <laughs> after oh, yeah, I mean, talking about the dogs yeah, yeah. in the game, about the, subject, the context matter, yeah, was yeah. implied. <laughs> yes. The only way to kill a human. Yeah. <laughs> I already like the look of this game. This is one of my favourites of all time, Renegade. Renegade. It's Back once again for the Renegade Master. Remember that song? No. There was something yep. pleasing about video games where you could throw someone off of an edge. You're absolutely right. And this game, well, you see, this level is quite a lot about kicking people between the legs and chucking them off a pier. Okay. Which is a very bad hobby. Don't yep. take it up, kids. Happens a lot in my hometown. Yep. <laughs> This is a conversion of an arcade game, also called Renegade, okay. which was rubbish, actually, but for some reason the Spectrum conversion is really good fun. This is an interesting level where you are attacked by prostitutes and have to take out their gang leader, Big Bad Bertha. Because <laughs> oh, apparently in the 80s... That was last weekend! <laughs> oh my gosh! Wow. Now the idea is to what? rescue your girlfriend who has been captured by a man with a gun, his name to, I can't remember. Are they trying to attack you with bondage whips? Yes. That is literally what is happening. Wow. 80s. And who's the big yellow thing? Is that Bertha? That is Bertha. She'll come out now. Look, she can uh, <laughs> run at you really fast and smack you over. Oh and gosh. the only way to knock her down is to use her own kinetic energy against her <laughs> by smacking her as she runs into you. Old school kung fu method, though, isn't it? You yeah. take the motion, you pull your arm. Oh, missed it. <laughs> smack me over there. Amazing. Yeah, I loved this game. So much replay value. Sequel, Target Renegade, is also excellent. The third one, Renegade 3, is... Uh, how can I put it politely? Shot? Yes. Okay. I'm very impressed by your games. Dizzy was a personal favourite of mine, but this mm. is a close second. But uh, are there this any sort good. of ones that were, you know, like Cow Postman that were that should have been included? There was in this no list? Spectrum version of Cow Postman, to my knowledge. Again, Cow Postman. If you've got a copy, send it in. Mm. Great game. We have heard nothing on that. Tragic. Not a uh, pat, a cow pat on the back. See you next time. <laughs> Next time on Barshans, homemade waxing. Ah!